Oh, hi guys. I saw recently uh, The Shape of Water. Uh, it's a Del Toro film. I love his work. This feels very... Very Tim Burton, though. It has that feel to it. It's set in the 1960s. And it has... I don't know, the lighting and the colouring and things like that. It feels so much like... It also has a real feel of Amelie. Um, which is one of those great little films. I suppose it's because the... Uh, Eliza, the lead character in it, I don't know, she has the little, the hair style and the thing that reminds me quite a bit of Emily. Uh, Sally Hawkins plays her and she's mute and she's a, works in a, in a secret lab as a janitor and her and her friend Zelda, they clean the labs and a mysterious property is brought into the lab and Hmm. This is a really, really beautiful film. Uh, there's such beautiful camera work in it. The lighting, the music, the style of it. Um, you, you know, there's a. You kind of know from the posters and the things that there's the creature that they've they found in it. And to me, this really did feel like it was a. Like a sequel to the creature from Black Lagoon or something like that. The creature has that real feel of that, and I love them. The, the Creature from Black Lagoon is one of my favourite films. I love the design of the creature in it, and I love the design of the creature in this. Um, it's played by Doug Jones, who you will probably know from most Del Toro films. Um, he's been in Hellboy and, yeah, most of his films. Um, he was also the Silver Surfer in the Fantastic Four film. And he's been in a few Doctor Who's as well, I think. But, yeah... Uh, you got Michael Shannon in there as uh, St Strickland, who is the quintessential bad guy. Um, I feel sorry for this guy because he always seems to, he's always going to be playing the bad guy. But he is mean, nasty, creepy. I will, I will warn you out there, there is a lot of sex in this. There's some quite, you know, not gratuitous sex, but there is some sex in there. Um... And some of it you'll be, oh, okay, quite shocked at. Um, yeah, this is just a brilliant little film. I know it's up for Oscars and things like that, and it would be great to see something like this of the, you know, the sci-fi, the fantasy sort of genre actually win something. Because so many times films like this get ignored and just get things for special effects, at which the special effects in this are fantastic. The makeup for the creature is breathtaking. Um, do you know what? It, it's such a sweet film. There's there's little moments in there's there's a little scene where they do this thing with the the her and a neighbour do this little thing with their feet. And I think it's been done in other films before, so I don't think it's a it's a new thing. But I just it's just a lovely little film. I I would give this out of a plus to um, F minus. I would give this. I'll give this an A. This is a beautiful film, beautifully shot. It, it's a little different for a Del Toro film. It just feels a little bit different from one of his, because most of his is sort of more European feel. And even though this does remind me of Emily, this is very, it's set in America and it feels very American. And it has that proper, the bad guy is like the proper kind of American truth justice in the American way kind of guy. And it's ah, brilliant. So yeah, please go out and see this film. Make it a popular film, make it a good one. I know. It's been out in America for a while. I think we're getting it in a, maybe a week or so. Go see it. Um, yeah. If you've enjoyed this review, my little rambles, <laughs> um, do that again. Leave some subscriptions at the bottom. Uh, some likes would be fantastic. Uh, yeah. Leave some comments. Let me know if you've seen it, what you thought of it. Um, what's your favourite Del Toro film? Um, you know, Sam said his first name. That's because I can never say it right. So I'm just going to call him Del Toro. Ah, uh, yeah. Have a great day, a great night, and I will see you all soon.